first time in California. What are your thoughts so far? Uh, so far, I love it. Just the jet lag is a little bit of uh, a bummer, but uh, that should should go away by the time we start the race. So you had a pretty pretty big spring classic, you know, season now it's done. Are you happy with how that went, or you know, how you a little info on that? I was a little bit on the bad side of luck. I crashed already six times this year, so I didn't really get the results I wanted. But uh, I mean, after all, I was always in the end. I was always there, and uh, the thing is, I always had to do uh, ride my final to come back mm -hmm. instead of really in the final, so I never had the legs in, in the end to do like, a podium or a win. But all in all, it is what it is, and I'm pretty happy. So now that your spring season's done, you know, we're kind of moving to the next part of the season for you. Like, we'll, you know, we're here in California. Are you just kind of going through the motions? Are you going to kind of help with the team? And then, like, obviously you're going on to the tour. So, like, kind of take us through that process. Oh, um, after the Amstel, I took one week totally off. And uh, I restarted last week in, in Frankfurt. Then California is what follows on after that. So uh, it's a bit, as you said, the beginning of a new cycle. But uh, hopefully the high point of it all should be the Tour de France. But of course, I mean, it's a world to race here. Or not. So the, the days of uh, going easy in a race, those are, those are over. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be on it all the time now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So going into the Tour, you know, you're a classics guy and they're gonna have that classic style stage of cobbles. How, how is that gonna work out for the team with, you know, obviously it's all hands on deck with Bardet. Like, what, what'll be your role on that? I think I have a big role together with, uh, with Sylvain Dillier normally. I think uh, we can almost say that our entire tour, it's, it's all about that day for me and for me and Sylvain. So we, the both of us, we have to make sure that uh, by the end of the day, Roma is in the best possible position. No matter how strong or weak we are, it doesn't matter what we do. It's all about, about him gaining time on, on the other guys. So when you say that, like, is it just gonna be kind of you up, you know, with Sylvan in the front, with him on your wheel, getting through those gaps, you know, kind of yeah, keep him out of trouble. Try to be positioned on the first, in the first sector, mm -hmm. and then uh, see how it goes from from there on. I mean, he punctures, I give my bike, I try to come back. Uh, Sylvan punctures, he tries to come back. It's, it's so chaotic. A million things can happen. You can, you never know what what will happen eventually. But uh, the main, the only goal, the only goal, and the main goal there is uh, that we take a big gap on, on the, the other. It's possible. I think we're, oh, yeah. we're among the strongest teams for a, for a classic stage on a, on a Grand Tour, so why not? So we're here at California. Any stages that stand out to you? Or are you looking forward to? Or just kind of here for the... See how it goes? See how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Most of all. <laughs> I think uh, there, there are a lot of stages that uh, have a mountain top finish. I'm going to do a good effort there, but it's not really my thing to... I mean, I want to do a big result in the climb, but I never did it before, so I don't think I will here. All right, well. We'll be watching and uh, best of luck, man. Thank you.